As the world's nations reorganized their various holdings after World War I, Denmark and Norway got into a scuffle over the eastern coast of Greenland. The Permanent Court of International Justice fielded the controversy in the case Legal Status of Eastern Greenland, or Denmark, versus Norway. The saga started with Eric the Red, the explorer who founded the first Norse settlement in Greenland around 980. The medieval colonies collapsed around 1450. Denmark and Norway were combined into one country in 1536. Explorers returned to Greenland, which was considered a Norwegian possession until the two countries separated in the Treaty of Kiel of 1814. Denmark kept Greenland. Norway maintained claims to territories east of Greenland, including Spitsbergen. After World War I, the United States gave up any claim to Greenland in exchange for the Danish Virgin Islands. Denmark worked on persuading other nations to agree not to contest its claim to all of Greenland. Norway was the only stumbling block. In 1919, the Danish Minister for Foreign Affairs met with Eilen, the Norwegian Minister for Foreign Affairs. They discussed the allocation of Greenland to Denmark and Spitsbergen to Norway. Eilen said the Norwegian government wouldn't make any difficulties in the settlement of this question. During the 20s, however, Norway refused to recognize Danish sovereignty over Greenland and demanded hunting and fishing rights on the East Coast. In 1930, Norway set up hunting outposts on Greenland's east coast and announced plans to conduct scientific research. Denmark submitted the dispute to the Permanent Court of International Justice. It claimed sovereignty over all of Greenland based on its continuous sovereignty over a long period of time. It also argued that through the Island Declaration of 1919, Norway had promised not to proceed with any occupation of territory in Greenland. 